So our next morning meeting activity is going to be months of the year. I'll demonstrate a song for you. As you sing the song, I like to have the students point to each month as we say the months so they can start to associate the word with the sound. If you would like to do this in sign language, you could do the same thing. Um, how you sign the months is you sign the first letter and then you sign the last letter. So January would be J Y. May would be M Y, April would be A L. Um, but the song's a little fast, so you have to have quick hands. And away we go. There's January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Bum, bum. So after you sing the song, you can go over the month. Um, if your student is able to, you can do it out of the array of 12. Um, if your student needs more support, you can take down and do it out of an array of 3, an array of 4, whatever works for your student. I'm going to leave up the array of 12 um, for me. And for me, it's a new month. So... It's going to take the student a little while to get used to the new month, but the new month is April. Very excited for April. Have the students say it and then touch it. I also like to have the students write. And one way, a fun activity that you can use when doing this is if you have an expo marker, if you have glass like windows or sliding doors, the kids can write on it. And it's a good way, my OT friends are, will, will like it, because it's a good way to work different muscles in your hand and give the students a little more support. So I'm going to write April. For students using communication devices, you'll find the months under time. And there's a button that says months, and then you can have the student press April from there. If um, the student can write it, they can write it independently, or the student could trace it, whatever works best for your student.